A Des Moines man has dedicated his life to advocating for early diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Now he is one of the first in the nation to receive a new promising treatment. KCCI's Rhea Spigner has his story. Mike Sindel was 66 years old when he was told that he has mild cognitive impairment, the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. The day I was diagnosed, um, I was expecting it, but it hit me like a punch in the gut. Uh, it was um, a very tough emotional weekend for me, um, to say the least. But after I recovered from that, I decided that what am I going to do with this um, diagnosis? He was going to fight back. Although devastating, it wasn't a surprise. Mike lost both of his parents to Alzheimer's, and a few years ago, he found out he had both genes capable of carrying the disease. I was their caretaker, and... Um, and then I um, subsequently to that uh, was diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment um, due to Alzheimer's disease about one year ago. He admits that it took him a while to decide if he wanted to know. After a while, it became apparent to me that I really wanted to know what was going on. So that's what led me to uh, seek out the diagnosis. Um, my only regret was that I waited five years. But once he did, the next steps were clear to first become an advocate and next seek out a facility that was distributing Anduhelm, formerly known as Aducanumab, a treatment approved by the FDA in June. It attacks the amyloid protein to help enhance cognitive memory function. But it was a little bit time consuming to gather all the documents because it's a very, very strict protocol. The actual uh, procedure of getting infusion is quite simple. It's just a regular IV infusion in your hand or your arm, and you sit in a nice, comfortable chair for an hour while the drug is being infused. He says it could take some time for him to feel any effects of the drug, but for now, he'll have to go back every month for the next year to receive the treatment at an Arizona facility. You asked part of the reason of why I want to take this, uh, what's driven me to it. It's really a matter of time, a matter of time with my children. Uh, my daughters both have an APOE4 gene, which is indicative of Alzheimer's. I have two of those genes. My parents passed away from Alzheimer's. For him, anything to help people or give him more time is worth it. If I can do anything to get another year, two years, months, weeks, or days with my family, then yes, I'm absolutely going to... Uh, pursue that route. Reyes Spigner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.